Hi friends, welcome to the Python for Beginners course. My name is Admiral Ghost and uh, in this video we are going to talk of for loop. So in the previous videos we have seen something called uh, while loop and uh, if you do not remember let me show you this okay so when we have talked of iterators we said loops are used to perform repetitive tasks of similar kind and uh, we have seen how we can use while loop to do so and uh, for loop is yet another variation of loops so we have uh, for loops as well as while loop and uh, both of them are used and can be used anywhere no problems but uh, the for loops are more frequently more frequently used and uh, the reason behind this is uh, the use of the ease of use you can use for loops quite easily wherever in while loops you have to keep track of uh, incrementing the counter in each loop and uh, in for loop you don't need even need to bother of that it uh, it uh, automatically increments the counter or uh, whatever be the value which we do so and if you haven't understand yet we'll take a look at uh, for loop first the syntax and then you will better understand it so if you see for statements have this uh, in syntax for keyword then we have some item and then we have a keyword in and uh, then an iterator so what then we have colon and then from the next line we start writing our uh, our block of code and uh, remember that uh, python is uh, indented language so we need to indent the block of code which is inside this for loop by adding four extra spaces to the line so remember that we need to add four spaces before actually start writing the code so this iterator what this iterator is it can be anything a list set or a tuple and uh, i know we haven't covered set or a tuple yet but uh, we'll cover them later on this series and uh, there is a strong reason why i haven't covered these two till now so for this uh, particular example or for this particular demonstration we'll take this iterator as a list and try to figure out how for loop works so as you see in this example we have a we have a range function which is inbuilt and this range function will return a list and we have uh, passed in five here so it will return a list something like this which will have values 0 1 2 3 4 so so it will return this list and then for each item that means for each value of this list i is assigned the value and then for all i the print statement will be executed and that means we'll have this list first this value 0 will be assigned to this i and uh, then for the value of i equal to 0 we'll execute the complete block of code inside this for loop and uh, in this particular example we have only one statement inside the for loop and that statement is print i so it will go and store 0 to i print i then in the next iteration we'll have i equal to 1 this will be stored in i in the next iteration and then we will print i and it will keep on going so it will print in 0 1 2 3 and 4 so let's just quickly go and see if it really works so open up python type in for 
i in range 5 and 4 spaces and then whatever we we want to write and here you see it has printed 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, to be more clear let use it in this way so that will be more clear now in this example what I have done is uh, I have created a list here and uh, what it will go what it will do is go iterate i for each of these uh, elements of the list so it will first go and uh, put in this value a which is a string so it will put in this uh, string into this uh, particular variable i and then print in the i and then it will go take this value b and uh, it will store this value b in this variable i and then will print it and it will keep on doing it for all the four elements of this list a b c d so if we now prints if we now puts enter you you see it is printing a b c d and that's how for loop works and uh, let's just now try to do and uh, reproduce this program which we did with while loop so if you see it took one two three and four lines for the while loop to perform the same to perform the same operation to simply print out the square of the values from one to three and we have already done it in the previous videos now let's just go and uh, do the same thing with for loop and uh, we'll see so for i in range 4 print i square that's what this program is doing so here okay here we have something weird and this we can correct it using this way now if you see this program here and this program here they are both doing the same thing and uh, this program uses four lines of quotes while this uses just two lines of code that's why for loops are most frequently used and uh, while loops are less used and uh, here in this function range I have passed in two arguments and uh, you might be wondering how this works so actually range is a function which can uh, have uh, multiple arguments and uh, I'll cover range in the next video so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel Admiral Ghost